talk about Scarface, everyone. So this man is a part of the Ghetto Boys, and he's been here since the 90s, even probably late 80s. And he's always been seen as, like, a storyteller slash man who can paint pictures. And so in the meantime, between that point, we're going to... Emeritus came out late 2008, and really, he... As, like, rap shifted, he didn't fall behind, which is good. Because this album really is kind of a little bit mental, which I do like. I mean, you wouldn't expect the production. You'd think it kind of crosses the line between mainstream and, like, a little bit sadistic. And in that way, it's, it's just good stuff. Now, I'm going to let you know I did not actually listen to the lyrics in this album throughout, but I do know that judging by it if you can if you if you can visualize something where you would be listening to a song when you hear it it's usually quite meant for shadier places now shady is not always good but you take that and you put it in the place where it's suitable and so that's basically what happens with this album that's what makes it so fun as you think well um it's not exactly ideal for a backyard party or just, you know, going somewhere in the summer. It's more about just trying to think of... It's not really club music either. It just is kind of like smoking records that have a little bit of a purpose. So... I don't know, this is strange because it's not really for the car either. So it, this is like, you know, I guess I would say just in your house and you're doing something. Um, really, yeah, I mean, that's, that's going to be one of the harder things to actually describe is just where could you think to play these sorts of songs because... You know, Scarface was almost 40 when he released this music, so it, it made sense that he wasn't necessarily young and thuggin' and talking about things that the newcomers do. And, you know, so it, you just get, like I said, it's a little bit mental, so you get kind of that glimpse as to what someone would be like once they're that age. Not every person is going to turn into Scarface, but also, um, it's not as if he's out of the ordinary either. So, um, yeah, we'll talk about the smoking songs. So, there's actually quite a bit of beats that I like on this release, but like I said, the problem is just figuring out where to listen to them. Redemption song unexpected, high-powered, um, we need you, these are some songs that I remember that are good to smoke, and I like 7 out of 12, there's actually 14, but 2 of them are intros, and outros, so there's really like 12 songs, and I did like 7 out of 12, so that's decent. The production, yeah, that's pretty much the good part about it. it. It works really well, but not everyone does. Like, I would have liked the song, the title track, Emeritus, but there just is, I, I didn't really think I found a hook in that song. This kind of went on, but that's actually, it, it is a good beat. So you just have to listen to that one. You may or may not like it, but it, it, it works. And some of the other ones, um, I didn't really like the Lil Wayne Bun B song that much. So, 
but really that was pretty much the only problem is just when you list, listen to a song like Unexpected, that's pretty much like one of the best beats on this release. And that and Redemption Song are some good ones. High Power's really mean too. I mean, it, it just, it just kind of has like that terrorish type sound to it. It doesn't sound, it sounds like it's nighttime records. And it's got like this shrill type to it that makes it sound as if it's not in its right mind. And so it, it's just a little bit creepy, but it's not to the point where it's in its own world. So it's just approachable sadism. I guess that's what I'd call it. And really, you know, I guess the product, yeah, the production is just really snaking. That's just all it is. So, which is something that I do like. You know, this is definitely a tool that I think needs to be used more often. Because when you listen to some of the rappers of today, most of the production is like a bunch of sunflowers and, you know, Easter eggs. And that just, it just kind of, you know, you gotta get some real sharpness to it so the unheard songs what I'm gonna say is high-powered can't get right it's not a game who are they redemption song we need you and unexpected all of these have pretty mean beats on there I think you'll like Scarface too. I mean, he, he's someone that I think people will like. He's not necessarily the most mainstream of people, but it's not like you'll never hear him either. So, you know, he's probably someone who I'd say, you know, if you have like a rapper that you like, he probably knows Scarface. It's not someone that you have to hunt for, maybe like Riff Rap or something like that. It's actually... You know, he's just right next door. So, and he collaborates with some people. Like, you'll probably recognize Slim Thug, Zero, um, Bun B, Lil Wayne, you know, some of these guys. You know, there's other ones, too. He's from Texas, so you'll get some of that. Um, yeah, so I, I recommend this release, but I'm going to give it, like, a six and a half. Just because, like, I guess I would have liked the Emeritus song. I could say that that's an almost song. So I'll give it a 7.5 because 8 out of 12 is about 2 thirds. It is 2 thirds, but that's really only 3 songs that I didn't like. So, you know, honestly, that's rather good. So 7.5 to an 8, I'll say 7.5. And, you know, just understand that that's really worthwhile. I guess probably the other problem is just that there's just not enough songs. It feels as if it's over as soon as it starts. I'm looking at it, and it's only 51 minutes, and that's with the skit. So you're getting, like, a good 45 minutes worth of stuff. And, you know, we just need more density. 18 songs is what's supposed to be. But... So this album social, I'm going to have to give it a five and a half social just because, you know, people may like him, but he's just not someone that you can drag to the club. And it's difficult to think about how many women are really into that sort of storytelling that has to do with, you know, murdering someone. So, you know, it's just type of thing that you know it's just a little bit it's grimy but you know there's still good records and the production keeps it you know up in the air so I'm kind of looking off in the distance because I'm just it, it helps me concentrate more I'm a progressive person I like to you know look ahead as I'm talking but yeah can it be topped Probably not. I mean, this is real 
brutal of an album, but just the only problem is is just its length and um just that there's not necessarily like charting songs and everything. So alright, I give this album a seven and a half and a five and a half social. Subscribe for more fun.